Alright, so this server that I'm playing on is temporary because my friend is going to make a new one soon in Java, so it doesn't really have that much work done on it. But still, it's a bit of a showcase of this kind of stuff I like to do. Just go all out for no reason. I know I showed this last time, but this is a book that I've been making for a while. And it just has all the potion ingredients and the potion recipes in it. But this version is kind of wrong because I kind of made a blanket adjustments for each potion that I fixed in my Word document for the future. But it's pretty cool just to be able to have this and go through it. Very useful. Um, right now, we're collecting the netherite for the Ender Dragon, which is the last thing we're going to do before we finish the server. So I've been trying to find the mansions to get these, but the mansion is hard to find, so I think what I'm going to do next is take a bunch of cobble and go find a village and just make a huge uh, three high wall around the village, start a raid and then just easily finish it from the inside of the village because I keep dying. But before that, I think, yeah, I have to go back to the nether and I have to make a safe path for me to ride my horse uh, from where the jungle is to here. Because the outside of the, our island has a bunch of jungle trees. Um, it used to have mega spruce, but I decided to switch it up for jungle because, I don't know, it seemed more piratey. So I need to get more jungle saplings, and it takes a while, so... All of this stuff is unorganized right now. Actually, just in case, let me take some of these. Okay.
Yeah, so normally we have a spawner that hopefully is near our home, but usually it's far away from it. Especially if we live on an island, because uh, almost all, all the mine shafts and stuff, when you live near water, are surrounded by water, obviously, because look how deep it goes down. But that's the way most people um, play on the servers. They have like a hub for their uh, their home or their town or whatever, where they have a automatic spawner, and then it's just easy to have all the potions and all the ores, the bookcase, the enchanted table, everything that's useful in that hub, so we don't have to run back back and forth between everything. So that's the way we normally play. So hopefully when we get the other server, um, it'll just be a lot closer. So I'm just going to make this right here so that it's easier for the horse to move when we get to this part. The nether, for me at least, is one of the easiest ways to travel because of how it shortens the distance from the overworld, but it is uh, also one of the riskiest and you can die if you don't overprotect your paths and also have uh, fire resistance and I'm known to take a lot of risks so I die a lot either way but These guys love to get in the way, and then if I accidentally hit them, then I have to start killing them off. Because this is in hard mode, I had to close everything off, so... Almost the whole fortress is closed off like this, because... It'll be like... 30 mobs in one hallway at a time. I don't have the patience to deal with all of that. Okay. So 
So this is a shortcut that runs through one of the newer biomes, which is the Crimson Forest. And this is usually good, except sometimes um, I get the hoglins to spawn here, so I gotta be careful with those, but it's not you it's not often. See, there goes one. Well, I'll take this. Let me see if I can show you. Yes. It's kind of empty, but usually that one is absolutely full. Okay. Gonna have to work on this ceiling because it's low for when you're on the horse. These guys are everywhere in the new update, and they're so annoying. The reason I have a baked six sword is because I used to have a good one, but um, we haven't been able to find any. Uh, Mending books and just got past to the point where it was too expensive to repair. And instead of making a new one right away, I'm making one for when we go fight the Ender Dragon and then just using this basic one for now. The same thing with my bow. I already have a good one saved for when we go to the end. Normally eat meat in this game, but I'm not gonna let it go to waste.
that's where my blaze farm is, which is out in the open like that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be saving this cobble for other stuff, so... Since we're running out of steps right now, I'm just gonna like pre make the space needed. This is not a space I intended ever to come through with a horse, but I actually needed it yesterday. So, since it's gonna come in handy, I'll just prepare it. It's a bit thin and a bit risky, but 
gets the job done. So from here I'm pretty much good to go. Hi, buddy. So right now I'm just looking for the super tall jungle trees because those give you the most sapling. That's the most bang for your buck. Oh, that's a parrot imitating a creeper. I use water to climb a lot because it's easy, even easier than um, scaffolding. But it's also one of the most unrealistic aspects of this game, I would say. down the whole tree just enough to make the leaves uh, despawn because that's when they drop the saplings. So yeah it is very wasteful but at least I regrow the trees on my island.
And now I just gotta wait. And normally while I wait, then I just chop down these smaller trees, because they also give you a few saplings. And you need four for one tree, so it takes a minute. And now I have enough for two trees. I always get concerned when I hear mob noises and then it turns out to be parrots. Even though they don't sound the same, but still. That's a baby also lot. Base is all the way that way. Which I came through here yesterday, which is why I was looking at this place like it was familiar.
Ooh, lucky. He escaped. Oh, I do have seeds, okay. Oh, there he is. Hello. I think they're following me now. So now we have enough for five trees, which is good enough, honestly. I don't usually deforest a lot at a time. And if I do, I usually replace the trees, but this is a temp server, so I'm not really going all out. This guy is always everywhere. He's a stalker. I 
mean, it's kind of his job, but still. There's one on my shoulder. Oh, hmm, that's kind of glitchy. realize something. There we go. Christ, alright. Place like a dungeon. I wish they had a more seamless way to do the reactions, but it's cool that they have them either way. downstairs. Okay, good. Ooh. 
did not see that coming. <laughs> 